Let's go five area. Cougars are hosting the De La Salle North Catholic Knights boys varsity soccer. Hey, yeah, so this is nice. Yeah, I had to strap it down because the wind the was like blowing right already. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Man, that's that's kind of crazy though. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't water it. It'll yeah. be. I think it'll be enough. I'll probably just let the wind uh, not blow it away. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. Nice. Cool. These are my kids, by the way. This is. Hi. What's your name? Simone. Simone and. <laughs> they just had to work out with me, so they're probably pretty tired. Nice. Hi guys, I'm Brennan. Yeah, this is Brennan. So Tabor. Kind. Yep. Oh, yeah. All right, if you're just tuning in, kickoff, first half, De La Salle, North Catholic Knights here at their host, Portland Adventist Academy, the Cougars. Cougars have head coach Jared Hoffman, assistant coach Dan Ferguson, the Knights coach Adam Lewis, and Braden Calder, the assistant. Brennan Burns here calling it live from Portland Adventist Academy. So this is Southeast Portland and then Malto 5. Bit wet and windy out here, so if the audio isn't great, just enjoy the show. Do your own commentary.
Timekeeper. Hey, Quincy, do you mind asking if they can move just a little bit back? These guys right in front? Yeah. Sorry, they kind of moved in after I set up. <laughs> Thank you. Just like uh, maybe six feet, you know, if you kind of like, yeah. That's perfect. Thank you. Windy and wet. We'll do our best to fill you in on the action, goals and such. Cougars and Theo Sound, North Catholic Knights. These two teams played two, two weeks ago in a non league friendly. Theo South came out five male winners. Yeah, I'm 
might have to get a couple more ropes. <laughs> Keeper Evan Felix clears the danger. Shot fly to Alex Rivera. He switches the ball. He's looking for Marky Scott. Offside is the call. Nearly halftime last round to break down to the defense. This could be another. Defensive standoff here today. This is Troncoso earns the free kick. Charging out of the back like Franz Beckenbauer. Injury player down. Referee's gonna hold time. Give this player a chance to come off. 
playing it is hit the lower back with nothing too serious. You can just walk it up. Number nine, Warner Brown gets clapped off as he recovers. He'll be back in later. Rivera again looking for Marquis Scott. De La Salle, free kick just outside the 18. Seniors Alex Rivera and Ryan Soriano. Seeing which one's gonna pick out a corner. Reflection, corner kick for Dio South. Wall does its job there. Portland advanced. Mesa looks like he's running out of room there, but he still earns the corner. De La Salle keeping Portland of Venice pegged back in their own end. Wind will definitely be a factor today. That's all right. Ball carried over the bar. Uh, player down. This time they set Zay, number 11. Looks like he'll need to take a quick break to recover. And he's getting up of his own accord, so hopefully it's nothing major. Hey, 
Also switches to Elijah Byron. Again, they're trying to pick out Scott. He's got some speed. Going to Dennis, no longer a stranger. Seeing what Scott can do. Scoring against them in the last contest. It's good to see we're starting to see a few spectators in the games. That trend continues to grow and live streaming will just be a hobby. Juan Tomas with the ambitious effort, deep. Marky Scott did well to press, carry the defenders. Soriano finds some space, tries to find Mesa, but goes out for a goal kick. A little too much mustard on that ball. We have yesterday's weather, right? <laughs> we're just a day late. We're just scheduled based on the weather, you know. Like, we what? Know we should. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Cancel practice. We're having a game. Right. <laughs> sure, the refs would agree.
tranquilo, menos fuerte. Scott, for the best chances of the game, puts it wide. Again, resolute defending from Portland Venice. Quite capable of repelling the attacks. They're going to need to find counter. Look at that. Put the LaSalle under some pressure today. Sergey Bobishra. Pablo Benitez clears the danger.
His idea is get to the box. Mr. Scott. Soriano holds it. Finds Sequana Tomas. Vaughn again cleans up at the back. Too, if you oh. really need. This, uh, this team really sits back a little bit. They do. Man. This is like a carbon copy of the last game, but because yeah. we didn't score till almost halftime last time, and you know, and then it kind of opened up. Oh yeah, how's that late? Like well, I don't, I don't have a. I'm just kind of tied to the fence um, on the back because there's no. I can't really put stakes in here, you know. Right. I don't know if they appreciate it, but it seems to be holding for the time being. So. Uh, main thing is, you know, my camera's dry, right. power's dry, so that was the, the worth the investment of one. Uh, I keep, uh, you know, I always think I'm like, I'm going to get one of these, I'm like, I need one. And I'm, you know, I live in Oregon, of course, I've got to have so many soccer games, so like, like, how do I not own one by now? We had, when Jalen was playing football, and we had a really rainy turn. Oh yeah, that was that was brutal. <laughs> we played in a downpour. Like down. It was fun though. It was, it was really and fun. it was warm. Yeah, it wasn't. Oh, Ralph, really get up. Seven, Alex. Yep, seven right there. Oh, I don't know anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're not at Gila Side, are you, Smoke? She's only in sixth grade. Oh, yeah? yeah. A couple years? A couple years. Is that where you want to go or just go away from Dad? Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, Dad. That's a good question. How do you feel about it? You don't know, answer the question. Uh, He's not sure yet? Yeah. yeah. My buddy that I used to work with, he worked at the Santa Clara where I went to school, and his son ended up going there, and he was like, oh, yeah, there's really no, you know, if you go to me, you get the uh, play discount, you know, mm -hmm. tuition, like, he's like, anywhere else, you're on your own. Right. <laughs> I'm not sure that that's Yeah, but where are they at the baseball field? Why are they at 
I might play like Little League here or something yeah. too. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh. Just a little less. Come on, guys. Jalen. Jake. Yeah, this would not have been good if you didn't get this today. <laughs> yeah, I was like, well, it's either that or I'm watching from the car. Right. Yeah. Nobody gets a live stream, so it's my sacrifice. The tall keeper, he gets you know, kind of anything in the air. His he's first good. year. Yeah. And he, I don't know if I told you this, he's a stud basketball player. Yeah. Good yeah. so, carries over well. You know, a lot of guys are good goalkeepers, uh -huh. and especially the American ones. They played a. Uh, Played a lot of hoops or now, or like okay, wide, there we go, wide receivers, a lot of those type of positions. Like, oh, oh. 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 yeah, close range after oh. Bond and Eisen, the near post. Oh. We almost had two kids, we had three. I've almost memorized the boys' names. I have to like pick up the roster. Right, right. Yeah. Come on now. Another team? No. Oh. Well, we're not. The other team's just sitting back and playing. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, Come on. Yeah. Evan does not get on camera much. <laughs> I worry about this game a little bit. After the big game against Riverdale, like, a little let down, yeah. yeah. Well, and this is the one that kind of counts, right? Because I think the last one was friendly, like a non-league, yeah. Yeah, keep it up, y'all. We don't need that. I keep it on this. Yeah, yes. The Delta last time I used it, so I was kind of standing up so I could try to, you know, this is about as high as I can get with my right. makeshift uh, yeah. platform. We don't play on those fields, so we got picked off because of what? Okay, come on. Remember, you're on live stream, so the mic may pick you up. You know. <laughs> Is that the highlight of your day? Well, we stopped the wind again. Good green jacket, basically. 
One minute and three seconds. Plus stoppage time. I think they do that for at each half, right? Yeah. So if they have an injury and the kid falls down or something like that? Yeah, because they'll actually stop the clock if there's an injury. Yeah. So they won't add time, it'll just be, they just, re, they just restart the clock. This is looking good. Uh, no. <laughs> it's hard to see the number. Like, so it's like. I, I can tell it's a three, but I can't tell it's a three. 20 seconds. 11. 10. Yeah, 11. They're, 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 so they're going to stop inside probably a minute or two. Stop inside. Maybe a minute. Come on now. Yeah, that, that is the half. That noise is nice. <laughs> it sounds like a fire alarm. You guys don't see the car for halftime? No. It's halftime, baby. Come Yeah, come on. We get a snack in the car. Here at Catherine DeMazzo Field at Portland Venice Academy. Halftime score. Portland and Venice zero. Vila Sal zero. Yeah, a rematch from a couple weeks ago where Vila Sal came out five zero winners. This time a defensive game plan of the Cougars of Portland and Venice are denying the potent offense. Uh, Vila Sal. This game is going to be a great contest here in the second half.
We are just tuning in to the live stream. It's zero, zero and a half to De La Salle at Portland Advanced Academy Boys Varsity Soccer. the siren signaling the start of the second half that's commence zero zero here at halftime host Portland and Venice denying De La Salle the first half goal how's it going
Goalkeeper Evan Felix picks up the ball. It's a fair touch for him today. Sergey Bobitra with a booming kick downfield. Inside, shots deflected. Vaughn picks it up. Yeah, a lot of Vaughn fans today. Caesar Diaz denied by Vaughn. Vera Stretch is trying to keep it in. The outstretch arms of Vaughn and De La Salle won. De La Salle leading 1 0. I know. 
Nearly equalizes, but Evan Felix is there. That was too close. Yeah. I'm just saying, right here. But you mind asking them just to scoot back just a little bit, like towards the goals, and that way I can get that corner. It's kind of hard when they, anybody standing is kind of hard. Uh, call a foul. I don't know anything about soccer. Mainly, you just got to get the ball and not the person. <laughs> If you get the person first, then it's a foul. Generally speaking. Was that a yellow? Was that was there any card? I didn't see any cards, but who got tripped up? Thanks. Soccer is a really dangerous sport, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Sometimes. Get to shit in the back. What does that mean? Doesn't that make you? What does that mean when he does that? Uh, when he puts the hands up like this. Like this. Yeah. Start on time. It means he's stopping time. Stop. Yeah. So the let the injury come off, and then uh, they do that with high school because they actually keep a score a score clock okay. or time yeah. clock instead of a the referee doing it. Those thoughts look rainy. Look at that. They don't look nice. No, they don't look nice. Oh, well. whoa, look how fast they're moving. See it? Right there? Well, they're moving. They're just tuning in. Marquis Scott scored for De La Salle. 1 0 lead over Portland and Venice. And Mike's like on the front. So oh, okay. like the game matches great. I've been trying these different ones. You can plug one in, but every time I've done it, people are like, I can't hear anything. I'm like, all right, well, let's go with this one. I haven't quite figured that out. No, I'm getting better. I always say I'm going to test, you know, in between games and something like that. <laughs> yeah. I don't like that, yeah. But it was make sure everything's charged. Nice job, Elijah. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh! Good effort, man. That was a good effort. Out with a great run. He gets... Yeah. And then his defense chases him back and deflects the breakaway opportunity. It's coming. They should have these like. Yeah. 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 I was saying this would be a good. Uh, you know, video production skill the kids can learn come out the games and learn how to like you know live stream mm -hmm. okay, good. Good. We, can, we can start you on the work study program early you know? yeah I'm not I'm not good at it really coming down number eight I like it Come on. Come on. That's uh, Brian, he's a senior captain. Yeah. He is really nice. He's the nice one of the nicest guys in the school. Oh, yeah. He's so nice. Oh, my God. Him blocking Brendan's win, he's not bad. Yeah, it's fine. Penguin? Yes, <laughs> exactly. Caesar Diaz. Oh. Still battling. 
puts it wide. Oh, it's a rear can't keep it in bounds. Felix gathers it. The rain is coming down hard today. Yes! Great! Yes! Nice left, too. Brian Soriano with the cutback. Senior captain, number eight. Doubles the lead for De La Salle. 2-0 to the visitors. That was really nice. That was nice. <laughs> Alan's warming up. Yes! Just moments later, gets the third goal for De La Salle. 3-0. Visitors over Portland and Venice. What did ever coach said to them at halftime, man? <laughs> <laughs> Schedule on the fly, and yeah. cancel practice, and come to a. Okay, it's going to be 60 degrees. Yeah. Let's go. No rain. You see the forecast for this weekend. It's right. Beautiful. Yep. It's not that one. Right. <laughs> There's wetsuits for that right yeah. now. Yeah. Oh. Well, just try not to fall in. That's what it is. Got to really have good balance. 
fear. Fear makes you balance. But. I'm not going in that water. They, what, 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 would you have to any water in the state of Oregon right now is not really yeah, enough for swimming. Polar bear swim right here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the Willamette wasn't too bad. I think we did. When's the last time you went in? Oh, we never go. We oh, no, I thought you said you went. That's where you Well, went. we take our dogs there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Some fries. Well, we're going to have dinner in a little bit. I went paddleboard in the Willamette like last summer or the summer before. It's not, you know, yeah, we just got out by Selwood there, kind of as a good spot. Yeah, I will, we I, go there all the time with our dogs. Yeah, but we yeah. haven't paddleboard. I won't go in the water in, in the Willamette. Well, I just want to use our new paddleboard. That's all I want to use. This thing was off the air. <laughs> That's your dog's name? No. <laughs> oh, your dad. Dad. Right. I have a funny nickname, but we're on camera, so we're not going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Got my co-commentator, Jalen, here. Right. <laughs> Bringing in the color commentary. Great anecdotes. Sitting around in this weather, I'd be stiff. I guess I forget I'm 44, so I'm not. You're like 15, 15, 16, 17, 18. 14? I don't think we have any 14 year olds this year. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, what's up? Uh, he's 15. Or no, he's, he's actually 14, so he turns. Yeah. Sorry, he turns uh, 15 this summer. Yeah, so we have some 14 year olds. Oh, there we go. Montoya gets in the box, goes down, but no call. Coach Adam Lewis got a few words with the referee. Official, not in agreement. distance effort.
There are some games I've seen where they've kept going and they'll they'll take like a shovel and just show the lines. Oh, you know, like an eighteen yard box of the center, so they can kind of have a maybe the circle. They can yeah. kind of tell where the dimensions are. But yeah, it, generally they would they wouldn't play. But it's kind of like when it happens when the game starts and then it just snows real fast. You know, like they can't really. Uh, right. Game's already kind of in progress. Gotta keep this. I don't know if this stops the live stream or not. But... Okay. I think it just goes into sleep mode. Mm -hmm. I need to turn it off so it doesn't just stays on the whole game. Felix nearly gets caught out, but finds a way to hold on. What is our line? We're four? Uh, four and one now, I think. So it's on this one and another one. Four and one. Let's go back to. Say there's going to be a, a league playoff, maybe? Or there is a league playoff. Okay. Yep, I'm actually, tomorrow, one of the things I'm doing is working on fields for that week. <laughs> and is it kind of a semis and a final, or is it like a. Yeah, over semis. Okay. Good job, Jose. That's good. Yeah. But nothing. There might be a buy from, the, from one team, depending on how many teams actually want to play in the playoffs. Right. So. If that's the case, if there's only seven teams the first seed, we'll get a bye first round. Got it. But no, uh, no, no state this year, right? Nope, no state. Are any of the divisions doing state, or nope. is it? Yeah. Makes sense, because you still got to fit the other sports in, right? Yeah. Okay. So. That's going to start to be Will there be a... Uh, 
just varsity or they do JV. They do JV, JV for that yeah. I told Tabor to try out. So he's yeah. going to, he likes playing hoops, so yeah. so kind too. Sure. But. <laughs> Mini jumbo. Yeah, mini jumbo drum. <laughs> or just a here. <laughs> Are you cold now? No. Okay. I just want to stand here. I really don't want to. Oh, so, so, 45 pounds are really What? So I can run. I can go run, buddy. No one's stopping you from running. Go run. Go run. Go run. That they're spreading this spreading my baby bit actually. <laughs> Somebody's ready to go. Yeah. Trooper. Yeah. Oh, I like the shoes. Thank you. I'm going to do it again this time. Okay, go. Go run. Run, run faster. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> They're all fussy things, I think. Nice. Manuel Montoya scores the fourth for De La Salle. Rafa Mesa with the assist. That was amazing. He's a junior. Oh, he scored again? No, that's his first score. Taking a deflection, I guess, maybe? Or... If those are one? It's good. Yeah. Wait for six 
65 and sunny. That's going to be amazing. Yeah. Oh! Oh, wow! What happened? Right uh, off the bar. Right off like, the didn't, bar. Didn't cross the line. Wow. You see the net move, like rip it because it hit the bar. Portland and Venice, unlucky. Bar. Keeps the clean sheet going for Evan Felix. Claws away the rebound. Ready, start doing sportscasting, man. You got a good voice for it. Thanks. Yeah. Well, I used to do a, a blog called Timberlandy, and I would go, I'd press pass with the Timbers, and I would go up and cover oh, games. Sweet. But I would do uh, mostly, you know, written. Did work for a couple sites. Right. And, uh, That's awesome. Yeah, you sound like you got it down. Yeah. This has been more of my, you know, fun trying out my broadcast voice. Yeah. That's why I got to figure out the mic part. <laughs> you, know, right. you can get a little like attachable. Yeah, I have this one that I have. It, it didn't work. It, I think I have to figure out how to get it to hook through the uh, computer, maybe right. when we're doing the live stream. Like, um, I think no. it'll work just recording on this. Like, it's, it's got a mic thing, but yeah. every time I plug it in, people are like, it doesn't. It, it's they can't hear hear me talk on the live stream. So I got to do some testing. Like I said, it's getting my. We're looking. I'm looking to hire somebody to do uh, announcing for all home games. Yeah, paid position if you're interested. In yeah, for the, hoops, the hoop season. Yeah, for hoops and volleyball. Yeah, I mean, literally, it would be the beginning of the varsity games. Yeah, because we don't announce JV games. Right, nice. right. And is it going to be no uh, no spectators? Right. Next well, year or this year? Uh, well, this year oh, we're talking, not gonna, Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about for next year. This year there's no spectators. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Yeah. It's, it's, I'm having fun doing it. So. Yeah, for sure. And if there's something where they, if you guys want to do like a a live stream or something of the games, you know, we can do that. And okay. we probably, that's what I was saying. It'd so, be good to have like kids that could run the camera because it's hard to do. Oh, for sure. Everything at once, you know, I'm like. We're trying to the camera, you just kind of have to pay attention and you know make sure you're like panning to catch the. If you like look down, then you're like, oops, yeah. balls at the other end of the field. You know, you don't have to do too much like zooming or anything, you know, because. Oh, you got Oh, yes. All right, good to see you. Nice to meet you, Smart. And Felix, uh, subbed in for Ivan Caballero, who places him in goal for the Knights.
course, now the sun comes out. Aribe and it left back for the Knights replacing Elijah Byron. Warmer socks. <laughs> it's cold out here. Definitely had to cool down even more. Yeah. I'm saying this sun, you know, showing up at the last minute. It's really cruel. Yesterday would have been a great day. Exactly. We need to we need to be able to call an audible and just uh, say let's cancel practice and play a bit early. Tabor Burns with an opportunity. Hard tackle in the box. Sergey Babrishev. Looks to be all right. Just shook up. There's a tackle there, both just went in hard and looks like a defender just, just beat him to the ball. They just collide. Yeah. All right. Good to see him up. It's going to take a quick break. So I could have a moment to recuperate, hopefully come back. Also have Josiah Liebert in the game. Andrew Vaughn, triple saved to deny another goal, but goes out for a corner. Yeah, 
Portland Venice on goal. Heavy pressure from De La Salle. It's now 5 0. De La Salle, Portland and Venice. It's nearly a carbon copy of the last contest. It's time. Feel us out nights. Five. Portland Advantage Cougars. Zero. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time. Next match will be Monday, March 29th. De La Salle at Oregon Episcopal. Be a 6.30 p.m. kickoff. If you subscribe or tune into my channel, the live stream will be kicking off about five minutes before kickoff. So hope you enjoyed. Have a good evening.